Good morning, everybody. It is halfway through May, May 15th today. And uh, the game plan is we're just gonna go up on the hill, cross our fingers that one of them two birds gobble that was with Kaylee's bird that she killed. I haven't had any luck getting on those birds. They've been super quiet or not in the area. So I don't know exactly what's going on, but it's Saturday morning, so I've got all morning to hunt. Whereas, you know, during the week, I'm kind of screwed. I gotta be out of there 7.30, 7.40, and uh, that's the end of my hunting. So if I can't get on one in the roost during the week, I'm pretty much uh, SOL. But this morning, we're gonna be able to, to uh, kind of run a gun and, and try a whole bunch of different woods and get something fired up. It's gonna be a beautiful morning. It's 32 degrees out, no wind, no cloud cover. So, Fingers crossed we get we get on one first thing. I've had all kinds of trouble getting on them first thing this year. But uh, if we can't get on one first thing, by God, we might get on one second thing, or third thing, or fourth thing, or fifth thing. So we're gonna keep after them this morning. We'll see you in the woods, or up on the hill. Well, I heard four gobbles this morning from, they're right on the edge of hearing distance. I have no idea where they're at. They're a long ways away. I think we've gone another day without getting on one. First thing. Okay, so I think I located where that bird was. I'm pretty sure he's right down here on the edge of our gas wall piece. I came up here and uh, did a yelp. I wasn't on camera when I did it, but they hammered right back. So I jumped in my blind here and stuck a decoy out right here. Well, those birds uh, responded like two times to the calls and then shut up. And I have a feeling they're jakes. There's been a, a couple jakes uh, up here spending a lot of time. And uh, I'm not gonna sit here and, and wait them out or anything like that. We're gonna be aggressive and see if we can't get on a goblin bird this morning. I think there's times to be patient turkey hunting and there's times to get after them. I've been doing a lot of patient type turkey hunting this first couple weeks of the season here and now it's time to just get after them and get them killed. So we're gonna go find one and we're gonna kill it.
Okay, a little update. We're trying like the sixth different spot of the morning here. See if we can get something fired up, but I was just kind of looking in the mud here. Looking for turkey tracks. And I found a little bear cub track right here. If I can find it again. Where was it? Right here. Just a little baby bear. And there goes my phone. I was looking for turkey tracks in here and I wasn't really seeing much. And there's a few coyote tracks. There's a coyote track. But I really didn't see much for, or any turkey tracks at all. So that's not that great of a sign, but we'll see. I figured it was a good time to whip out the lucky, the lucky hat. I had an unbelievable turkey season last year and I wore this every day, so maybe that's my issue this year. I need the lucky hat back on. I'll give it a try. Tons of turkey scratchings in here. I haven't heard nothing yet, but they're definitely in here. Well, I've sat up here on the top of this uh, hill for about an hour, calling it periodically. No dice. We'll make a big loop back around and head to the truck and then go try uh, another spot. There's tons of scratching in here. Fresh scratching, too. There's definitely birds in here. I can't believe I can't get a gobble. We're going to try to make a game plan on those birds that were out in that field. That property, the property that I have access to and that I can hunt borders the field those turkeys are in. So we're going to go all the way back and try to, I don't know if they're going to go back in the field or if they're going to go onto the neighbors across the field or where they're going to go, but 
we're gonna get in behind them and see if we can't make something happen here. Okay, I came in around the backside. And uh, I'm pinned in by the property line. It's right over here. So I'm not perfectly behind them. I'm a little over from there, but once this plane goes by, we're gonna hit them with a few soft yelps and see if they're interested in all that all. I really need a better setup. I want to be in the shade, but I want to be kind of out from in this opening, you know. I'm trying to find a spot that would be better. soft clucks and yelps here to see if they respond. change my setup again. I don't like being in the sun. I want to get in these shadows. So I'm sitting right on the back side of this big pine. I moved moved over about 20 feet. These birds haven't responded to any calling, but I know they're out here. So scratching's all over in here. We're just going to stick tight. See what happens. I'm not really sure where these turkeys went or if they're still in this field. The field is a private field and I can't even get up to the edge of it because the neighbor's property kind of comes in at an angle. And uh, this property doesn't actually border the field. It's close, but it doesn't border it. So I don't even know. I can't take a peek at it and see what's going on out there or what. There's certainly, I know there's some hens with them, which I thought I could still possibly get them fired up. There's a black squirrel. Well, that was kind of a rare sight. You don't see many black squirrels around here in the woods like that. But, uh, like I was saying, I thought I was going to be able to get these birds fired up, but they're not fired up. It's almost 10 o'clock now. 
Well, I think we're gonna head out of here. Not really sure what them turkeys are doing, if they're still out in this field or they're on the other side back in the woods or what they're doing. We'll see uh, if we can't get into anything else before the morning's over here. I'm certainly gonna need to get some food and coffee in me real soon. Well, I figured out what happened with the turkeys. Nothing. They're right where they were when I seen them the first time. They haven't left the field. They're just a little bit farther over the knoll, but they're still right in that field that I was in off the back side of. So, boy, it looked like there was, uh, I think I know those birds from last year. Uh, last year, there was a group of six jakes in there that were kind of like bully jakes, and they were running everything else around in there, and. Uh, Kind of rolling the roost well those six jakes are still there and they're still together and they're all toms this year it looks like so uh certainly have some uh some hunting that i could be doing in there which is a really good deal i'll uh be back in after them uh maybe tomorrow we'll see on what uh what i what i decide to do There's a hen. I don't see anything following her. That's going to do it on uh, today's hunt. It was, for the most part, pretty uneventful. But the good news is, I know for a fact there's longbeards in that spot that I hunted later on in the morning. And uh, it's kind of odd because I hunted that, that woods two mornings and I never heard a gobble either time I hunted there. But yet, there's five or six longbeards strutting out in that field, so it's just like, they're just not talking, obviously, because they're there. I watched them, so uh, it's good to know that, and I'll have a lot more confident going in there, going into that woods now than uh, before. So, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a good one, everybody.